Welcome to BA Consulting Pro. And in this video, you will learn how to create a SNPs workspace. I'll explain you step by step how to create a SNPs workspace. So let's not wait further. Let's get started. SNPs workspace. I have already explained you what is a SNPs workspace and if you still have any doubt about it, you can ask me in the comment section. But for this session, you would need a Azure account. If you haven't created any Azure account, please go on Azure portal and over there you can create your free Azure account. You would need a credit card for that. Although Microsoft is not going to charge you anything, it's just for the verification purpose. So please create your free Azure account and you would get certain credit and benefits as well. Now let's go to the Azure portal and see what we can do over there in order to create a Synapse workspace. Over here, I'm on my Azure portal. If you haven't logged in, you can log in using portal.azure.com and you would come over here on this interface. You can see all the resources that you have created earlier. Otherwise, you can create the new too. Now, what we are going to do, you have to come over here in this in this search bar and over here you can either type the Azure SNPs Analytics or you can select if you have recently used it. So for example, I'm over here and I'm going to type Azure SNPs Analytics and you would see there's an option. Just click over here. Once you will click over here, if you have already created your Azure SNPs Analytics account, then it would appear over here. Like over here, you can see BCP Demo SNPs, which I already created. Otherwise, you can create new as well. So if there is nothing, then over here also you would find one button saying create your workspace. Otherwise, you can just come over here, click on create. It's going to open a new window for you. And here you can select all those options. The very first, you have to select your subscription that you have. Like I have this MSTN platform subscription. I can select that. Now comes to the resources or either you can select your existing resource where you would like to keep it. Otherwise, you can create a new one too over here and then you can give it a name. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it in my BCP learning. This is my resource over here on managed resource group. If you don't know what is it, just hover your cursor on the side button and you would get to know what is it. For this session, we really don't need it. So I'm going to leave it blank. Next to that, there is a workspace name. So here your actual work starts. What is the name of your SNPs workspace that you are going to give? So please provide name over here. For example, I write demo BCP SNPs. Once you will see over here, then it's going to pass through certain rules. So always please remember that it's only going to accept all the small letters. You can select your region. So always try to select the nearest region to your data. In my case, I have just selected the central US, so you can change it according to your own choice. Then there is a Slack Data Lake Storage Gen 2. Just keep it from the subscription. If you have, want to enter manually URL, you can do that. Now there is a name. That is the account name. So either you can create new or you can select if you have already. For example, I have already BCP SNPs, so I'm going to select this. And now it comes to the file system name. So I have already created this BCP users, you can create a new according to your own choice that you would like to create. So once you've done all these, next you can move to security if you want to change anything over there. Then next is networking, tag and review plus create. All these are not necessary as of now. I'm keeping it default. Once you will do that, it's going to check the validation of for this one and it succeeded. You can see that. Now you can just click on this create button and it's going to create. In our case, I have already created one SNPs workspace, so I don't need to create it again. Otherwise, it's going to take a while to complete the deployment process and it can take 5 to 10 minutes or maybe more, depends upon your network speed and all. So let me go back and I'm going to go to my BCP demo workspace, which I have already created and I'm going to discard my changes over here. Once you will come over here, you would find a completely new interface over here. You will see on your right hand side, all the overview, activity, log, settings, analytic pools and everything. 
We are going to discuss all these three posts, SQL posts, Apache Spark posts, Data Explorer posts in our upcoming videos. So please stick with this course. You will get to know everything. But the main motto over here is to analyze the data using SNPs Analytics. And for that, we have this SNP Studio. So you can just click on this open button over here and then it's going to open a completely new window, which is your Azure SNPs Studio. Here you can create your link services, your data pipelines, you can orchestrate your data, you can manage all those security triggers, everything in a unified space you can do over here. Before that, in case of Azure Factory, we have to go to the different places. We have to do a lot of different orchestration. Then we can do the process. But here, it's a single interface where you can do everything. Now you can see over here, you can ingest your data, you can explore and analyze, and then you can visualize using Power BI. If you need to read more, please check out all those sources like your community and all those study materials. Everything is gonna be over here. On your left hand side, you will see there's a home button, which is gonna give you this interface. Then there's a data, develop, integrate, monitor, and manage. So everything you will find over here. But for this session, we are gonna to stick to the data one. Once you will come under this data tab, you would see there's a workspace, which is this workspace, then there's a linked. Here we can create our linked services or the containers that we need to do. And by default, it will show you this Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. So please click on this. And here you will get your primary and secondary containers over here. Now for this session, you have to stick with this first one, which is the primary, and we are gonna upload a data file over there. So how you can do that? Come to this container, click over here, now you would get an option to upload file, new folder, select all, refresh and all. So we have to upload a file. I'll provide you a link in the description section. You can download that file and you can upload it. So click over here. Now you can select a file from your system. Over here I have this NYT trip small parquet file. I click on this, I select it and now I am gonna open it. Once you will do that, then its upload button is gonna highlight it over here. Just upload the file. It would take a couple of minutes, depends on the size of the file, and soon it's gonna be available over here. So now I'm gonna hit this refresh button, and here it is. So that's all you need to understand about the SNPs Analytics workspace, what you can do, how you can upload your files in the containers. And if you need to know more about the containers, basic definitions, what is Azure storage and all, please don't forget to check our course on Azure Data Engineering Associate exam. In the next video, we are going to analyze using serverless SQL pools. So stay tuned. See you in the next video.